watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? Hello everybody, welcome to the video documentary of the Sound of Business project funded by European Union uh, through the Erasmus Plus program. Uh, and as you can understand from the title of the project, we are trying to put together rock music and business. And we found many similarities between these two words. And we are going to show you how these two elements can be combined together. Uh, we tested this module, uh, this idea, these training tools in a, a training course uh, that uh, took place in Caltanissetta, which is a very beautiful town in the heart of Sicily. And the images you're going to see in this video are taken exactly from the, the training course in Caltanissetta. The Sound of Business is a project uh, developed together uh, with six European organizations coming from six European countries. Uh, they are coming exactly from Slovakia, from Italy, from Hungary, from Bulgaria, from Greece and from Poland. Uh, if you want to go a bit deeper into the Sound of Business idea, just visit our website soundofbusiness.eu and feel free to share the idea to all your friends and let's rock! And now it's time to go a bit deeper into the methodology we use. We thought really, really interesting putting together not just the business and the rock music, but also another approach, which is called project cycle management. We combine together these three elements and that's what came out. So, how to put together these two elements, rock and business? We thought that by using a very interesting methodology, which is called project cycle management, we can somehow merge these two elements. I don't know if you are familiar with the project cycle management, but it's a very, very easy to use methodology made up of six different steps. The first one is called programming. Programming means that if you have a very good project idea, or in this case, if you have a very good business idea, you have to start uh, by knowing exactly the needs you are addressing with your business or with your project. So it means that if your project, or in this case your business, uh, is successful, it means that it is addressing specific needs, needs of the beneficiaries of your project, or in this case of your business. Think about rock music. Uh, I'm wondering why uh, some music genius or some very famous band why they have been so successful. Think about rock and roll. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. You must look as a man insane. You broke my will, but what a thrill. Girl, and this girl wreck is just gritting balls of fire. I let you love how I thought it was funny. You came along and you moved me, honey. I changed my mind. very popular in the, let's say, 50s and 60s, but I know the secret behind the popularity of rock and roll. If you want to know it, just reflect on the needs the rock and roll music was addressing 
at that time. Any have you seen all the people dancing? Uh, it's normal, I guess. Uh, because think about that rock and roll was very popular in the 50s. And at that time, people wanted to have fun. Uh, they wanted to have fun just because they uh, passed recently the drama of the Second World War and that's exactly the need that rock and roll music was addressing. So, uh, if you want to be successful with your business, just keep in mind this tip. And now let's go straight to the second step of the project cycle management, which is called identification. In this second step, any good project manager or businessman have to identify the strategy uh, to address the needs identified in the first phase of the PCM. To make an example, uh, let's come back to the uh, rock history uh, and let's think about two legendary bands let's think about beatles and rolling stones Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me Have you seen these two bands? Uh, now uh, change your mind. Think about these bands not simply as uh, rock bands, but as two companies. They are selling a product, they work in the same market, but they use two different strategies to create their products. Uh, think about the image of the Beatles. They were the good guys, so the product they sell uh, is addressed to a specific target. Now think about the Rolling Stones. They were the bad guys and the product they sell is addressed to another kind of customers. And now let's move to the third step of the project cycle management, which is called formulation. Uh, just remind what we did so far. Uh, we identified the needs we have to address with our business idea. We identified the strategy to use to address the needs. Now we just have to formulate our business idea. It means we have to write down all the business idea. It means we have to make a business plan. way uh, to talk about a business model is to use uh, a simplified model which is called the business model canvas which is an interesting tool that simplifies and summarizes the key elements of any business plan the value proposition what we are proposing uh, to the customers the customer segments that we are addressing to uh, the relationships 
we have with our customers, uh, the key partners that we need uh, in order to be successful in our business, uh, such as the key activities we have to implement or the channels we have to use to communicate uh, our business outside or just think about the costs and the revenue streams. But now let's think about the business model canvas as the Jimi Hendrix and now, if your business model is well done, it's time for Now that your business is funded, now you have the money, uh, now it's time to go on the market and to sell your products. And for a band it means that it's time to go on stage. Let's close the circle now. It means that we have to evaluate what we did with our business. It means simply that we have to evaluate to what extent we addressed the needs identified at the beginning of this process, the needs of our customers. It is more or less what David Bowie used to do uh, during his long career. And it's exactly what he did here. Uh, of all the shows on this tour, this, this particular show will remain with us the longest because not only, is it, not only is it the last show of the tour, but it's the last show that we'll ever do. Thank you. Time takes a cigarette. David Bowie killed one of his most famous characters, or let's say alter ego, or let's say uh, products, uh, just because he realized it was time to do something new. It was time to offer to his customer a different product. So he started again with something completely different. That's the trademark of David Bowie and that's what a good businessman have to do to be successful, to reinvent himself when it's needed to do. On a song, when you walk past the cafe that you can't eat when you've lived too long, oh, 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 oh. you're a rock and roll suicide. With this video, we try to sum up what we have done so far and we try to summarize the methodology we are proposing. But above all, we try to be inspiring for you, as the famous rock bands we showed uh, have been for us. So, uh, if you want to go deeper into this methodology and into this project, just visit our website soundofbusiness.eu and let's keep in touch and let's keep on rocking.